YouTube is such an interesting place. Yeah. With millions of people watching and creating content every single day, it's such an easy website to find a wide variety of niches and genres. For example, I would be in the genre of complaining endlessly about things that most people in my daily life do not care about. One thing I've been complaining about a lot lately are family vlog channels. If you're a returning viewer of mine, you'll know how much I dislike these channels for the way that many of them treat their children. But what if I told you today we would be covering a topic that makes family vloggers look like saints. This content makes family vlogging channels look so innocent by comparison. When you look at this YouTube channel, you'll think to yourself, you know what, maybe the Ace family isn't that bad. I'm just kidding. They're terrible. They're still just awful. Today we will be talking about the Piper Rockell YouTube channel, which is a channel that focuses around a 14-year-old girl, Piper Rockell, and consists of kids content. More importantly, we will share how the Piper Rockell team is being sued by 11 people who participated in creating YouTube content on this channel. The 11 people involved in this lawsuit happen to be under the age of 18, one being as young as 10 years old. The Piper Rockell team appears to consist of more than just Piper herself. It actually appears to be Piper's mother and her mother's boyfriend, according to this lawsuit. Piper Rockell's mother, Tiffany Smith, happens to be the one who sticks out the most in this case, as there happens to be a plethora of horrific claims made against her by the 11 who are suing her and likely their parents and guardians. Okay, before we get started here, I do want to let you know that this is not the video that I was planning on posting today. Please don't be mad at me. This isn't the big hour-long video that I was planning on uploading. I'm still working on that video. I'm trying to put a lot of time and effort into that video because one, it is very long, and two, I don't want to like rush through it. With that being said, however, today we are going to be discussing something else that is very important for Valentine's Day. A very happy and sweet holiday. I dare have to say that uh, this is going to get very dark. You just, you might, you might want to like meditate before watching this. Piper Rockell is a 14-year-old girl with a YouTube channel that has over 9 million subscribers, a TikTok with over 8 million followers, and an Instagram account with over 5 million followers, collectively bringing her to over 22 million accounts following her across multiple platforms. With quite an impressive following, many would imagine that Piper would be one of the luckiest people in the world. However, having so much at such a young age could come at a cost, especially when it comes to a situation like this. You see, Piper being born in August of 2007 would mean that in November of 2016, when this YouTube channel was made, she would have only been nine years old. The oldest video on her channel, which has over five million views, was posted on November 29th, 2016. According to InfluencerMarketingHub.com, Piper competed in pageants and modeled, which explains how her very first video on YouTube came off as so professionally done. Not just the quality of the video, but all of her mannerisms and behaviors. This definitely wasn't amateur. As time went on and the YouTube channel grew, a group of Piper's friends formed called the Piper's Squad. The squad consisted of children from ages 10 to 17 years old. They would all get together to create YouTube content, most of which was for Piper's channel. At a first glance, this may appear to be wholesome and a fun platform for young kids to watch. With the Piper's Squad name expanding to fans and also using hashtags such as Piperazzi, a parent might find this type of content cute for their children children to watch. Unfortunately, as time continued, the channel would reveal itself to be disturbingly inappropriate. And this isn't the fault of Piper by any means, but by the adults in her life managing and running this whole YouTube channel. While she is not the first child to grow up in a popular social media spotlight, one thing that is very unlikely for any child to know is the marketing strategies to effectively post viral content online. Most children don't have the mental capacity to understand stand things such as this, or viewer demographics, or a target audience, or click-through rates, or video watch time. When a channel revolving around a young child becomes this successful, it is almost certainly due to an adult, if not a team of multiple adults, managing the content behind the scenes, especially when it comes to editing videos and thumbnails. I just want to pause here before we even get into the rest of this and let you know that I do not blame Piper Rockell at 
all. I think that she is a victim in this situation. She is a 14 year old girl. The people in her life coordinating her entire online platform are to blame. I don't think that Piper Raquel herself is to blame. After a while, many people began noticing some disturbing patterns when it came to uploads on the Piper Raquel channel. There would be videos of Piper trying on swimsuits, which isn't inherently wrong in itself. However, the context is what made it wildly inappropriate. Piper would be trying these swimsuits on for her boyfriend to judge. She would be shown in very inappropriate poses for the thumbnails of these videos, which I don't even know if I will be showing here. If I do, it will be obviously blurred out or cut out completely. But I think these poses speak for themselves that they are at the very least inappropriate. One video and thumbnail had the title, Calling My Boyfriend Daddy to See How He Feels. Another thumbnail is a picture of Piper seemingly wearing no clothes and wrapped in a towel with the title, My Boyfriend Walked In On Me, Peach Emoji, which obviously, if you don't know, stands for an inappropriate gesture or body part. I'm sorry, that's really weird. I don't know how anybody can look at that and not think that that's f***ing creepy. You know who else finds this weird? Pink. Yes, the singer. In 2021, she made posts on social media that captured a lot of attention. How many kids like Piper Raquel are being exploited by their parents? And at what point do the rest of us say, this isn't okay for a 13 year old to be posing in a bikini whilst her mother takes the photo? You know what's really sh Right after this tweet started catching attention, Piper's team deleted 75 million views worth of content off of her channel. Comments were left under Pink's tweet saying, I haven't seen anything sexualized. It seems like a normal girl just doing normal teenage things. Thus starting this outrage against Pink of people claiming that Pink was against teens dressing in swimsuits or anything similar. No, Pink saw the thumbnails of these videos that were removed within a week after this controversy. They were not the same as what is mostly displayed on her channel today. Although it appears that they still try to get away with posting this kind of stuff once in a while. This is such a scumbag move though. They were able to get away with this and make Pink look like the asshole for calling this out because the audience was ignorant to the fact that these thumbnails existed and if they were aware, I think the response to Pink would be much different than it was. They even had Piper make a TikTok where she was crying saying, a celebrity attacked me for wearing what all teenagers wear right now. Of course, I'm paraphrasing there, but you can see the video as I'm talking. Honestly, I commend Pink for coming out against these parents for exploiting Piper. I think Pink deserves an apology from anybody who attacked her for calling this shit out, especially after what has been revealed in these court documents, including allegations of Piper's mother allegedly saying she's a pimp of YouTube and allegedly is making kitty CP. If these accusations are proven in court, I better not see anybody still defending this as they were just expressing themselves like normal teenagers. Seriously, f you if you think this is okay after all of this. Again, I want to remind you, dear viewers, that the person who I think deserves the criticism is the mother in this situation and Piper's team. Piper is still just a child. While she is an influencer, she is following fashion trends and wearing what many girls her age are probably wearing. It's just the way in which her team is promoting her wearing this type of stuff in these very suggestive poses. There are actual creeps out there who have been doing very disgusting things with these videos, images, and thumbnails. According to a YouTuber called Mayhem, who has made several videos discussing this issue, there was a Reddit page that was titled something along the lines of Piper NSFW, basically reposting suggestive images of Piper for God knows what. Luckily, that Reddit page has been reported and removed, but things haven't gotten much better. In fact, you guessed it, it's much, much worse. In 2019, there was some drama between Piper and her boyfriend at the time, Gavin. Except it went much farther than just drama. Gavin's mother posted an Instagram Live video accusing Piper's mother of being crazy. She accused Piper's mother of jumping out of cars, calling her up on the phone and screaming at her to come and get her effing kid, manipulating Gavin by telling him if he speaks with so-and-so, he can't be part of the Piper squad anymore. Gavin's mom even goes deeper by claiming that her son was emotionally damaged.
emotional damage. Piper's mother frequently sent him text messages and that Gavin would constantly beg her not to kick him out of the Piper squad. Not, was know, this I Gavin's know. idea? No, it wasn't Gavin's idea. It was my idea because I... Like, you know, I know that everyone like makes fun of you. Something, like, dumb. Now, what is really strange to me is that after all of this happened in 2019, this mother seemed to be extremely distraught and concerned. She seemed to be very adamant that her son would never be working with Piper again. Rightfully so, if I were a parent in her shoes, I would never let my kid go back to that type of environment either. Not just due to the drama or emotional damage, but also for their safety. She even stated in this video that there was going to be a child safety investigation. I am not the first mom um, that has gone through this, I am about the 10th mom. And I will tell you, it may not be from me, but the truth will come out. Child Protective Services will be involved in this. However, something must have changed three or four months ago as Gavin and Piper were making videos with each other again. So either some of these accusations were embellished or somebody was feeling greedy enough to put their child's safety at risk. And due to what I'm about to go over next, I hate to say it, but I fear it may be the latter. Piper Raquel's mother, Tiffany Smith, is a 41-year-old woman who seems to have a very hefty role in Piper Raquel's YouTube channel and social media. She is often seen in Piper's videos and sometimes is depicted as an angry or even scary person by Piper's friends. But that's barely scratching the surface. On top of encouraging and directing Piper to dress and pose in certain ways for her YouTube thumbnails and videos, Tiffany has quite a few disturbing accusations that makes family vloggers look like the most ethical content on YouTube ever. One of the biggest claims made against Tiffany is that she allegedly made out with a 17-year-old on camera. That's right, this was recorded. In this video, Piper tries to pull her mother away from the alleged teen, which is really sad because that means that if this is true, even at such a young age, Piper knew that this was wrong and that her mother shouldn't be doing it. She must have been like 10 in this video. There have also been accusations made against Tiffany that she alleged allegedly sold Piper's used underwear to strangers online. Again, it's important to remember that these are only allegations at time because these are very, very bold claims. However, what is stated as fact is that a few weeks ago, Piper's mother and team have had legal action taken against them as 11 people, all minors, as well as their parents and guardians, I assume, have filed a lawsuit against them for several reasons. But the most egregious being will appear. The entire legal document can be found online, and it happens to be 147 pages long. I will obviously not be going over everything, but there are a few key points that I feel are very important to go over, just so you can get an idea of how severe these accusations are. I want to make something known here, something extremely crucial, at least in my opinion, to this situation. These aren't just allegations being made on Twitter posts or in YouTube videos. Not not to discredit anybody who makes a statement about somebody through those platforms, but this has been directly taken through a legal route. This is something that is going to go on record under oath to a judge and a jury. I think that speaks volumes on how confident they are in making these statements. They are confident that they have enough evidence to prove that this has happened. I believe one of the responses from the Piper Rock L team is that these people just want money and clout and stuff like that. You don't just go to court and spend thousands of dollars hiring lawyers and taking this to not only a court with a judge but a court with a jury just for some attention. The expected amount that they want to receive if they win this case is $2 million, which sounds like a lot, but these videos get hundreds of millions of views per year on the Piper Raquel channel. So $2 million is not a lot of money in comparison to how much that this channel probably pulls yearly, if not monthly. Piper Raquel's mother has been accused of doing vulgar, reprehensible, disgusting things. Again, allegedly, it's a lot. I need you to follow these important instructions. Sit down. Relax, take a few deep breaths, in and out. Good. Okay, 
I need you to do one more thing for me before we continue. Close your eyes and picture a relaxing, happy place. Do you have that place in your mind? Good. Keep that in the back of your head for this next part because you're going to f need it. During a thumbnail photo shoot for a YouTube video, Miss Smith demanded that plaintiff Sophia F. quote, take her clothes off and ultimately make it appear that Sophia F. was fully quote, naked. Miss Smith also frequently told the male plaintiffs to quote, take their shirts off for photos and videos because quote, cells. On another occasion, offset, plaintiff Corinne D. accompanied Miss Smith on the local post office where Miss Smith mailed out several of Piper's soiled training bras and pants to an unknown individual. Miss Smith remarked to Corinne D. that, quote, old men like to smell this stuff. Plaintiffs would frequently hear Miss Smith refer to another squad member's private parts as Dwayne the Rock Hard Johnson. Stop it. Get some help. Miss Smith frequently telling plaintiff Sophia F that she was underdeveloped and that she quote had no boobs and that she quote was so flat. Miss Smith would often boast to plaintiffs and others about being the quote madam of YouTube and quote a pimp of YouTube and that she quote makes kitty CP. For purposes of creating thumbnail photos for Piper's YouTube videos, Miss Smith would frequently tell plaintiffs, including Piper, to make quote kissing faces for thumbnails to quote push their butts out and to quote suck their stomachs in quote wear something and would otherwise position plaintiffs bodies in explicitly and suggestive positions. On another occasion, when plaintiff Aiden M asked Miss Smith for a thumbnail for his YouTube channel, Miss Smith told Aiden M that she wanted to end her life and that when she was laying in a pool of her own Aiden M could post her body on Instagram. Now in this document, letter Q is actually much longer, but I'm not reading the full thing out loud because it's really, really disgusting. I will only be reading the highlighted portion here, which states, on one more occasion in particular, Miss Smith sat on the bed next to Reese E and began moving her hand up Reese's exposed leg towards her private part when Reese E recoiled and knocked her hand away. Now I wanna make it a point here to say that there are several accusations that are similar to this against Piper's mother in this court document. But that's the only one I feel like sharing in this video because they get really, really graphic and disturbing. Now, according to an article by Insider, there is somewhat of a positive update on this situation. Something came out of this that I was actually surprised to see YouTube do. Apparently, YouTube has suspended Piper Raquel's YouTube monetization and has also suspended her channel from the YouTube Partner Program indefinitely, just a week after this lawsuit came out. Another thing I would like to mention regarding the Insider article, a lot of people might say, well, how come this hasn't happened with people like James Charles, who had so many accusations against him. The reason I think that YouTube stepped in and took away the monetization from this channel is because this has gotten legal. This is a lawsuit. This is something that is being handled in court and they probably want nothing to do with this. They probably want to wash their hands of it as quickly as possible. This might sound a bit extreme, but in this case, if everything that is being reported and accused of Piper's mother is true, I do not think that Piper should have access to her YouTube channel until she is a legal adult and able to make her own decisions regarding this or at least be making money from it until she's 18 because I think that people under the age of 18 can have a YouTube channel they just can't make money off of it without a legal parent or guardian until they turn 18. So actually yeah I don't think that this should be a business for her until she's 18 or older. Normally when it comes to demonetizing content on YouTube it's something that directly affects the YouTube creator. However Piper Raquel is a child and I have a hard time believing she keeps every dollar she makes on this YouTube channel. I could be totally wrong here, but I do not doubt for a second that Piper's content pays the bills for her entire family. And she would not be the only YouTuber who was in a position like this as a child. It's something that is entirely f up in my opinion. Kids should not be robbed of their childhood to pay their family's bills, especially when they're at such a young age. When you have a child, you are supposed to be their supporter and caregiver until they're 18 or old enough to support themselves. It should not be the other way around and they are not your personal cash cow. 
So the fact that this channel got demonetized doesn't make me feel bad for the people who are actually behind Piper's content. In other words, her mother and her mother's boyfriend, who for some reason is labeled as Piper's brother in their videos. The only person I feel bad for is Piper herself. But no child needs to be making assumingly hundreds of thousands of dollars from YouTube videos. They have their whole life ahead of them to figure out what they want to do for a career, if their future job opportunities have haven't been spoiled by this, hopefully not. A 14 year old has enough stress to deal with regarding school and teenage emotions and stuff. They should not be pushed to do something like this on top of it. Thank you so much if you've made it all the way to the end of this video. I know this one was hard to get through. This one was definitely not something cheerful or lighthearted by any means and is quite disturbing. And I just want to reiterate one last time that everything currently being discussed is allegations. The conclusion of this has not been handled in court yet, and I don't think it will be settled for a while. This sounds like something that's going to go on for quite a while. So with that being said, I do want to let you know that these are just accusations at this point. And also, I want to remind you that Piper Raquel is a 14-year-old girl, and she in my opinion, is not the one at fault in this situation. The person at fault are the adults in this situation who are exploiting her and several other young children for their content on YouTube. And that especially includes the mother, Tiffany Raquel. If everything in these accusations is true, she is a disgusting, reprehensible person that needs to go to jail. Honestly, if everything is said is true and can be proven, she needs to go to jail. There's already a video of her making out with an at the time 17 year old. That's disgusting. Thank you so much. And thank you so much to everybody who has been supporting me over on Patreon, especially Lewis, Miss Denisha, Anthony Tressout, and Michelle. I hope this hasn't ruined your Valentine's Day, but I'm sorry if it has. I hope you can spend the rest of your Valentine's Day happier and, um, in a more peaceful state of mind because I want to self lobotomize after this if I'm being honest. So yeah, I will see you in the next video, which will most likely be the video I've been hyping up for like the past month. Bye.